Okay, so here is a brief look at uh, Chrome OS and its window tiling behavior. Uh, this is a fully up-to-date copy of Chrome OS 10, oops, 101 or 102, I think. Let's look. 101.0 point something. Just updated today. Um, so yeah, the first thing actually that's interesting is these like resize handles, which I don't like them visually, um, but I suspect I know why they are the way they are. So yeah, you'll see when you put your mouse over the edge, you get like this dark border to tell you that you can resize. So that's interesting and it shows up on the corner as well. Um, so let's throw some windows side by side here. So it does have very windows like or gnome like uh, side tiling. Uh, doesn't do any sort of suggestions for tiling or snapping. But um, if you have two tiled side by side, you see this interesting grabber. So it shows the normal resize thing, but then it also shows this like extra little guy. I'm not sure if you just grab. Yeah, I don't like this. I think this changed from older versions of Chrome OS. If you just grab, oh, and they don't do any smart filling of more than half the screen. They just do half. But yeah, if you like hold for a second, then you get that little dual resizer, but then you have to move your mouse over it, and then you can resize the shared constrained edge or the shared edge, which then actually works pretty well. It's a live, live resize, pretty smooth, um, much smoother than the Windows way. But I don't think there's a way to do quarter tiling, but we will find out. So I think if I hover maximize, it says maximize. If I click and hold, you then get this like little, you can swipe your mouse to the right or left to tile to the right or left, which is I guess if you got used to it and maybe if you had a higher precision, like if you're using like an actual mouse instead of, I'm using a touchpad on a laptop, but if you're using an actual mouse, maybe you'd have more precise control and you could just like click and hold and move over and that would be a little bit better. Um, but as, I, as I'm trying it on the trackpad, it's not, not very precise. It's easier for me just to like grab the whole window and throw it against the side you know, fits law sort of big giant infinitely sized drop target. Um, yeah, and then this is how it shows. I forgot to show this in the Windows demo, but um, when you go into, oh, that's a really annoying that they switch sides. Why do they switch sides? Uh, whichever your most recently used one is on the left, regardless of the layout. That's okay. That's annoying, um, but you can see how that works. So when you go into this overview, it just shows as individual apps. Then you have opt-in desktops here. They are, um, how would you say it? You know, infinite, you can add a whole bunch of them, but you have to create them on demand. They're not automatically created for you. Oh, no, oh no, oh, oh, what, what? That's actually really interesting. Okay, let's go, let's do that again. So if you're in the overview, then you can drag a window and it has a very explicitly labeled drag here to use split screen sideways label, which then throws it on the half and keeps the overview so that you can select another window. Does that, so it's kind of like your tiling suggestions. If you just do it here, it doesn't do that. But if you start from the overview, if you're like in a context of wanting to arrange your windows, you can say, okay, split you over here. What happens if you go to another desktop though? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, and it's a four finger swipe between desktops, which is really smooth. Um, but yeah, that's I that feels overloaded. That's weird. I like some of the ideas here. Again, okay, three finger swipe up to go into this. What happens if we do four finger swipe up? Is it the same? Four finger swipe up doesn't do anything. Three finger swipe up goes here. What does three finger swipe left right do? Nothing. 
four fingers swipe left right that's probably because a lot of chromebooks have pretty crappy trackpads so you can't reliably like do two different dimensions with the same amount of fingers <laughs> i guess so four fingers does multitasking three fingers does this view if you swipe up anyway okay um and that four finger swipe down doesn't do anything weird so yeah again go to rearrange a window here you can throw it on a desk you can move then you can move your your desks around um you can then snap oh that's weird yeah okay you can then snap to the side the ui resizes which gives you this sort of a snap suggestion like windows but then this workspace preview here doesn't really make sense where it is but then you can arrange your windows how you want sorry this one ended up being a lot longer like six minutes but um yeah i wanted to to explore that um I, as far as i can tell there's no sort of corner tiling support in chrome os um yeah i think that's i think that's it